Warning, the following presentation contains cold, hard truths that might change the way you think. Viewer discretion won't do you any good now. Seven years ago, this teaser first launched, announcing Cyberpunk 2077 that actually ended with the text, coming when it's ready. And I just wish that were true. By now, we all know the story. It was a highly anticipated title that suffered massive delays, it took the entire PS4 life cycle to be developed, and was ironically still unready for its launch. Cry me a river. Let this be a lesson to all of us gamers. Anytime you hear any game developer promising something that sounds really revolutionary, they're lying. Okay? Good. Now let's move on. Now, I'm going to attempt something here that you probably don't see every day. I'm going to review Cyberpunk without once bringing up Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto. Because way too many of you motherfuckers are doing that. It's not that hard to show how Rockstar has a leg up on any game. Bore fucking ring. But as for comparing this game to, let's say, Bethesda RPGs, I do have one thing to say about that. How was Fallout 76 not delisted from the store? I'm sorry, this game is not as bad as Fallout 76. <sighs> Never mind, yes it is. But yes, Cyberpunk is very far from perfect. It's got messy, idiotic menus, incorrect on screen information, a buggy map, worthless AI a shitload of texture bugs, a lack of flyable cars, things that shouldn't fly but do, and all its best features feel slightly unnecessary and shoved under a rug. But I still had a fucking great time playing this game. I don't know, maybe it's the amazing sci-fi world you get to explore, or the ridiculously violent combat. Dear God or the gratuitous amount of sexual situations. Call me crazy, I think this is still a very fun game. This game is like if Rick Deckard got inserted into the American Pie universe. It, it can be so raunchy at times that I feel like I'm treading the YouTube guidelines just by showing some of this footage. I'm not saying this is a reason you should play the game, but it is very entertaining. If there is one reason you should play this game, it's the story. It's so solid on its own, it almost feels entirely separate from the shaky gameplay. I love that it leans into the Japanese presence, as all cyberpunk should, and it's filled with characters that are actually interesting. Jackie, Judy, Pan Am, and River Ward were all memorable, but Johnny and V's dynamic was the real entertainment. I can tell you got something to say, so say it. Me? No, no, just maybe this cop's flying straight in your pants. This game also has serious tonal range. You'll go from situations that are very dark and dismal to ones that are genuinely hilarious and penile related. Look at this guy. He's just checking out the selection. <laughs> no, nah, he decided not to get anything. Observing NPCs in this game is seriously underrated. Sure, they pop in and out, they don't really do much. Most of them have this unaged mannequin look, and some of them travel with a twin. But I still have so much fun staring at them. And you know, I really think that at the end of the day, it, it, it's not, it's, um, I, uh, wait, what? You also gotta give credit to the construction of Night City. In terms of its labyrinthine streets, tunnels, and bridges, there's always weird advertisements to chuckle at. This is actually one of my favorite video game locations I've ever lived in. Come on, just look at this. You turn a few degrees, it looks incredible. You turn a few more degrees, it looks incredible. You turn a little more, it still looks incredible. I'm sorry. This city always looks incredible. And I think this game is really just about two things. Shooting and soaking in the view. But let me be clear about one thing. While I really did enjoy my time playing Cyberpunk, I can't honestly say that I recommend the game. Yes, you heard that right. The game isn't just really fucked up. It also has some actual problems, like not bug related. 
In terms of overall gameplay, Cyberpunk really isn't that big of a leap beyond what we've seen in lots of other games. It contains all the obligatory open-world RPG elements that we've grown very used to by now, and all that innovative gadgetry and Mr. Robot-like hacking that I am a complete sucker for, I just didn't think was leaned into enough. Brain dances were awesome. I don't think there were enough of them. Maybe I haven't seen them all, but it felt kind of underused. I really enjoyed the breach control puzzles and quick hacking, but I can totally see people playing this game and not even feeling like using them because they're too busy shooting heads off. A and I get that. The cybernetic implants are neat, but unfortunately not super necessary. Yes, the mantis hands are kind of an exception, but those make the game way too easy. Look at this. Enemies don't stand a chance. This weapon is a fucking joke. It also really doesn't help that the enemy AI is noticeably rough at this moment. The combat is pretty satisfying otherwise. I mean, just... good lord. But if they don't fight back, it doesn't have the same sense of reward. You just kind of feel like a murderous psycho killing defenseless peasants. The civilians do not fight back at all. Everyone in this city is just a giant pussy. And it is way too easy to outrun the cops. Come on, g give me some kind of challenge with that. You know, at least chase me. Honestly, people don't do nothing in this game. Look at this. I'm just gonna kill these hostages. Nobody cares. They're just watching. Hello, sir. I'm going to kill you now. Now you are dead. Thank you. <laughs> what is this behavior? Mm. I don't like this at all. No, this makes me very uncomfortable. Alright, just... How funny is this picture? You got this poster in the background. And then this guy just hanging out, eating a... Oh, wow. Oh, he put the food in his pocket. <laughs> he knows I was watching him. Look at him. Thinks he can fool me. Now, obviously, I'm having tons of fun here. But the truth is, with all the icons littered throughout this map, somehow this city feels like there isn't enough interaction. And this is coming from someone who is pretty easily amused. I once did shrooms and stared at highway traffic for six hours. I don't know, there's not really enough random shit to do in this city. I want to go see a movie or gamble in some bizarre holographic sex-based minigames. And look, I, I do think asking for car customization is a bit much, but at least let me get a haircut. Right after creating my character, I immediately met someone who looked just like me. I must have seen her in the commercial and subconsciously recreated her or something. Now, this doesn't mean I didn't enjoy the large amount of missions this game offers. In fact, there actually wasn't a single side mission that I didn't find fun. And I did a fuck ton of them. Come on, how hilarious was this battle with the rogue Delamain cab? I'm not dying back! You're just fighting with cars. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Okay, stand down. Stand down! This is absurd. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. Okay. Now where was I? You know, while I do really love looking at this city, the game doesn't seem so concerned with close-up detail. Really, guys? This is a meal? Oh, they're serving my favorite, a puddle of dried paint. Now, I just have to say, I am the furthest thing from a homophobe, but I felt really uncomfortable having sex with River Ward. And wow, look how much effort they put into this sex scene. Honestly, where was this level of attention in the rest of the game's cutscenes? This was way too fleshed out. No pun intended. Typical CD Projekt Red. Always putting sex scenes at the top of their priority list. 
Now, let's get serious for a second. What could be my most brutal critique of all is that there are elements of this game that just feel really unfinished. Like when you try to equip clothing from your backpack instead of the inventory menu, and you see this buggy shit happen. Or what about on-screen commands that do not pertain to what you're doing in the current moment? It's like, half of these are correct, and half are incorrect. Was it that hard to change this to, say, accelerate? This happens every single time I get in a car. How are they missing that? But to me, the most baffling design choice in this game is definitely some of the inventory menus. Why do the text messages and shard menus have to suck such giant monkey balls? You can't jump to the bottom easily. It's clearly designed for a mouse, and God knows if it even works on that. And as for that shards menu, holy Jesus. Honestly, let me give you some advice. If you see this yellow icon out there in the world, just don't even pick these up. You get zero achievements from finding these, and my god does this list get cluttered. If you ever have to scroll through this list for any reason, ha, <laughs> good fucking luck. You know, I'm actually in a good mood today, so I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and just call this whole thing a bug. And speaking of bugs, plenty of people have pointed out hilarious bugs in this game. And I'm gonna do the same. We've got floating cell phones, dead bodies having a lot of trouble just being dead, seeing the inside of your face when you enter a car. <laughs> yeah. Enemies spawning right in front of me, but the AI is horrible, so he does nothing. Texture pop-ins that might actually give you nightmares. Oh my god, is that horrifying. Oh my god, is that horrifying. Alright, now look at this. You think this is just an ordinary wall? Uh! Uh! Wow. Uh! How cool is that? Look, uh, I'm waiting for a friend. Oh. Okay, well, I'm sure she... Wait. What the... Uh... What is this, a drink-off? Okay, look at this. I need this guy to actually be dead for me to pick up his keycard. And he's sort of stuck in some in-between life-and-death limbo. I'm right here! I'm unloading everything I got on this guy. He's just not dying. All right, let's see how he likes a nice grenade. I'm right here. Come on. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. This is awesome. I mean, I do need to get this key card from him somehow. But I'm not not enjoying this. Although my absolute favorite bug of all is this right here. So I'm just calling for one of my cars. There's some kind of disturbance in the distance. Uh, is that my car? No, I think it's... Oh. Here it is. To me, this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Look at this. I call a car. And then the car shows up, looking like it just ran itself over. Hey, it definitely still works. Which also makes no sense. Now, somehow, even with all this crap, I still actually really enjoyed this game. Like, really. Just look at it. You can have hours of fun just roaming around, staring at asses, slicing off heads, and staring at asses. When the game does function properly, it can be a pretty damn cool experience. It's got a shitload of combat, plenty to gawk at, and some pretty decent detective role-playing. And spending hours alongside a cyborg Keanu Reeves in a dingy yet colorful sci-fi world is not the worst way to spend your time. A lot of people want a final answer. Is something good or shitty? But I think it's possible for some things to be half amazing, and half... not that amazing. I personally think the game is good. But if it worked, it would be incredibly good. I know this company has what it takes to, for the most part, fix what's wrong with this game. 
and even if only on latest generation systems, I think this game might eventually be glorious. I believe in these nice Polish folk, and I think they deserve a break after slaving away on this gargantuan effort. There will come a time, not so far from now, where we are all actually playing a PS5 or Xbox Series console, and we're going to have to rejudge this game's re-release. But until then, CD Projekt Red, I believe in you. Don't fuck this up again.